Is he coming, oh, is he coming around yeah. the other side? All right. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. We'll see. There, there, faked here out. he comes. Here he's coming faked through out. This There we go. Well. There we go. We got to figure it out. We What's up, Tony? Hey, Dorian doing? Prince joining us here Thanks. on Travis and Torian. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you so much. Um, all right, so we're you know getting towards the he back side. out there. We didn't know. I'm like, is he coming yeah. this way? Is he coming? Thought that he way? saw a screen over we here. Look at both ways. Real quick. <laughs> How's media day gone for you so far? It's going good. Going smooth. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. How y'all doing? We're good. doing good. Doing good. I, you know, it's funny. Of all the signings out there, and we look at the names and some of the big names that the Lakers have, they get to the Western Conference Finals. This is my own personal belief. Um, you've been in the league long enough, and I've seen you have such great impact with other teams. How excited are you to just be in a role that you're going to have on this team to compete, to have a chance to, you know, not just earn minutes but close out games and so forth? What what, what do you feel about this upcoming year for what you bring to the table? Man, um, obviously a lot of energy um, coming in with great health, so that, that, that plays a big role in that. Um, consistency shooting from the three-point line. Um, I plan to get better as as time goes on, and um, I just plan to win a lot of games, man. That's what that's all I really play this game for is to try to help towards winning, and um, I think that's the only reason I'm in it. So I plan to bring that to the team, that that toughness, and um, that that mindset that um, no one can beat us. Torian, I want to go back to college real quick because it's one of my favorite moments when you described what a rebound was. Yeah. And, and is that something you had in your back pocket? Like, when I get this question, I'm going to do it like this. Or was it just in the spur of the moment? Like, um, man, that's a dumb question. I'm going to explain to you what a rebound Yeah, was. it was just a spur of the moment thing for sure. <laughs> um, I always tell people that they didn't allow us to get to the locker room and decompress after sure. a tough L like that. So we went straight to the, the podium, and I was kind of just thinking about what had just transpired. So. Um, Did you know how funny it was as you were doing it? I didn't. I didn't. Coach Drew actually told me that uh, he's glad everybody liked it because in the, in the moment of it, he didn't think it was such a good decision. But um, I'm glad it played out that way instead of the other way. It definitely did. Yeah, maybe we get a couple more this year. You know, we'll see. Hey, maybe, maybe. A couple maybe. questions come. might you. come from me. Might just... I don't try. It just happens. So if it, if it happens, it happens. Tory Prince taking some time to join us here on the uh, Travis and Sleeva show. Um What's your thoughts on the roster? You, you look around and to, to maybe use as an example against, you know, other teams that you've represented. You're here at training camp, the LeBrons, Anthony Davis, but then also just a ton of other role players that look like they can have great impact on the team. What's your thoughts on, on the way the team was constructed? Depth is a very, very, very good thing to have as a team. Um, I think I experienced that with my two years in Minnesota as well. Uh, we had a lot of guys who played for us, a lot of guys who won the games for us. Um, and I think it's a gift and a curse. Uh, I think all guys have to understand what the goal is. Um, if they do, then they can be really good. But if you have a lot of guys that are fighting against ourselves, then it could, you know what I'm saying, it could, it could go anywhere. And um, I think from what I've seen since I've been here the past three weeks, so you got a, got a lot of guys with chips on their shoulder, even with LeBron and AD. Um, they have something to prove. So. I think that plays a factor into what we want to do and what we're, and what we're going to do to in order to get it. So um, I think that's the that's the main recipe is everybody buying in and knowing what we want to do. Torian Prince is our guest. And you, you said everybody needs to know what the goal is and everybody needs to be pulling towards the same end of achieving that goal. Is that common in the NBA? I mean, you've been on a handful of different teams. Are, are there guys like, no, man, I need to make sure that what happens for me happens first and whatever happens with the team happens second. To have everybody pulling on the same end of the rope, is that normal? Well, I think you have to have, as a player, you have to have some type of accountability, some type of selfishness as far as playing your role and perfecting your role and being selfish and making sure that you, you play your role. Uh, that's not to say you're going to not pass the ball. It's not going to say you're not going to do things for your other teammates, but I think if you're selfish playing your role and doing what you are on the floor to do, then it obviously benefits everybody else. So if every, I think if everybody has that mindset, we, we could be very good. I think we're 0 for 3 or 0 for 4 now on the in-season tournament. Um, <laughs> Travis has asked a couple of the guys if <laughs> you fully understand what's happening with the in-season tournament. I think we're still trying to figure I, I, it out. Because I don't. That's why I'm asking. We're okay. trying to figure it out. I, I believe that you play your regular 82 games. Yes. You're just going to have an asterisk by four out of those 82 games. Okay to decide if you go 2-2 two and two or 3-0 and oh or 4-0 and oh to have the best seeding in the tournament okay. that, that are played within those eight days. And do you guys care about that? Is there an excitement? <laughs> see how I'm just looking at you? <laughs> you see how I'm just staring at you? That was an amazing question at the perfect time. <laughs> um, that was good. 
That was, I don't. It's not. I'm good. gonna say it's not something I think about too often. Okay. That's a good. Like that one. Slee, I I am so happy. That, that was great. Every player that we've asked this about feels the same way. But I'm like, I, okay, I, I understand like the mechanics of it. Yeah. But the what of it all is yeah, it's, like, it's, kind of lost on me. It's definitely reasoning. super new. But yeah. why um, not though, right? Why not? Why not? If it doesn't try it out, doesn't it, work. Doesn't. If it work. doesn't hurt. It, it yeah. helps. So. Uh, final one for me. Um, I think there were some people that were surprised when you became a Laker when you we ended up agreeing with the Lakers. What what um. I know you probably had a ton of options. Why the Lakers? Just from your perspective, what happened in the offseason that you said, I want to play for that team? Um, I had a few other options, but at the end of the day, I think as a whole, um, obviously the Lakers organization having um, the stigma and the, the aura around that, and um, it made me come to a conclusion that I wanted to be around that type of standard on the daily, and um, I wanted to attain and try to obtain something that I've probably haven't had the opportunity to in the last seven years of my career so it was a good opportunity I feel like this was the place to to be able to do that and um, help me become even a better player that I am now and even a better man so I think being around these guys is going to be good for me and I think uh, me being around them is going to be good for them. Torian Prince joining us here on Travis and Slayer. Torian thanks for your time. Thank you man. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. You got it man. Thank you. Yeah see I I 